Round of Goodwood House and up to the balcony through the magnificent lobby area of Goodwood House past security and then working his way up as did the iconic motorcycle stars of Agostini. Wayne Rainey was up there and Mick Doohan has been there this weekend. Kenny Roberts. Yeah, and of course uh, Kevin Schwantz. But uh, Nigel Mansell, he's a man many have come here to see. Great job. And it's That's lovely a, he, that the Williams plays. crew have who've prepared this car for him. Uh, great relationship with them, of course. It is uh, a Williams, it's still owned by the Williams team, and they've prepared it, and it's all run well here today. And now Nigel is going to make his way up to the house. I think possibly it was the Williams crew that uh, were, were, were less than keen to get him onto the gravel with the car. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it will have been a, a decision made for technical reasons but we can all enjoy Nigel Mansell making that sort of 100 yard dash towards the house now you can see some of the bikes that are still parked in the area oh great to see this is good stuff so Nigel Mansell then appreciates his crowd and there's a lot of them in front of Goodwood House now as other cars are going past our commentary box down towards the collecting areas again we've got the shootout still to come remember that's yet to come we've still got the fast stuff still to come here in the hill climb final but this is great here's the driver who married early to Roseanne they actually decided to sell their house at one stage when he was trying to raise funds to get up the ladder in Formula 3 at the time so that's what he was trying to do uh, they took the money to march and raced with them he got pole for his first race finished second to PK but then it all went a bit wrong and despite selling their house it was he was into a real struggle and then some opportunities came he suddenly got a paid drive with Unipart in Formula 3 and that was really what then got him on the road to showing his pace and the opportunity to meet Colin Chapman and that was the, then the line to get into Formula One. This is so festival of speed, respectful, honourable, and Nigel Mansell stopping to make a few people's day, if not year, if not lifetime. If you're a Nigel Mansell fan and you get to shake hands with him in person, it is something just a little bit special. And, and nobody is... How many times do you see it where superstars are being forced to do things that they don't want to do? He's having a respectful wander, a meander up towards the front door of Goodwood House. The Duke of Richmond is in residence. We've seen him up and down the uh, hill climb a few times. We're nearly there, and then he'll make his way through the, as I say, magnificent foyer where the party was on Saturday night. Big party here always on Saturday night out the back end of... Uh, Goodwood House, always an incredible show for everyone here who's a guest of the Duke of Richmond. He really does know how to look after his uh, his guests, his riders, his drivers. But look at that, look at that. Everybody getting so engaged in Nigel making his way through. And there there is the Duke of Richmond. A hug for the Duke Whoa! of Richmond. <laughs> you can just see he's really soaking all of this up. It's a quality event, there is no doubt about that. Nigel really has made every bit of effort and uh, good on him for that as well, but uh, you could ask for no more. Young or old, male, female or anything in between, everything Nigel Mansell gives back to his fans. Yeah, very special. And for some of these fans who have been waiting for this moment, maybe for many, many years, to have this opportunity today, just imagine the height this has given them the sheer delight in meeting him having aspects signed and for some people this is a very very special day the duke of richmond trying now to usher nigel up to the balcony yeah it's time nigel i'm sure you could spend another hour or three <laughs> making the day of many of your fans Okay, it's time to get it you up time. to the balcony yeah. now, Nigel. You can't <laughs> stay here with everybody. We need to get you up there so we can get into the celebrations. Fantastic. That is a great shot, isn't it? Duke of Richmond himself ends up as the uh, chaperone to Nigel Mansell. Just taking a look at some of the action when he was out in the car. The people have soaked up this afternoon. It's been wonderful. What a beautiful day. And we are getting ready for the 
high speed shootout. shootout. Yes. Yeah, I mean, how much are we looking forward to that? Just to see what happens. We've got the bikes. This is coming back down the hill. So the bikes are following Nigel Mansell down the hill towards the Goodwood House, of course. Uh, the bikes will turn off to the paddock area and Nigel will continue down to the gravel driveway where he stopped uh, just out the front of the, the driveway. I think it might have been uh, the car perhaps is a little low and wouldn't actually work too well on the gravel. Maybe it will have sunk on the gravel. So the text from Williams um, just halted him before he had the opportunity to get onto the driveway. Yeah, so he's kept it safe. No damage done. Car's in great shape. And I wonder if he'll get another chance to drive it one day in the future. Who knows? Well, he did say it was snug and he <laughs> could go to sleep in it. Uh, I think that's uh, something we pointed out before that it is quite tricky, isn't it? When you're, you're jumping in your car and you're probably a stone or two heavier than you were back in the good old days. Yeah, and even they had a bit of a challenge uh, in 1995 with McLaren from that point of view because they'd built such a tiny car and that was the year that Mika Hakkinen mentioned they were teammates briefly but it didn't quite work out for Nigel and that was when he moved on from Formula One completely and from motor racing pretty much so uh, but a great golfer as well golf has always been one of his great loves it's amazing that that transcends bikes four wheels two wheels golfing is the the one leveler I think motorcyclists are always playing golf yeah, it was a special thing for, for Nigel. Commentators don't know, do they? No, no, not many. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure some of us do, but um, not so many. So there, we're, the view that everybody got from the car, and we're seeing everybody getting in position to enjoy the rest of this uh, balcony moment in just a, a few moments' time, I think. Well, what is great is that we can continue to um, milk, if you like, the... Well, the atmosphere before the shootout comes and because the weather's not closing in on us no one will want to go home we've got the shootout still to come there's still plenty going to be going on on the hill here still plenty going on either side of the track that you if you haven't been able to take it all in just yet take a look at your program have a look at where the, the last chance the last minutes of your uh, afternoon here at the festival of speed where you want to spend that because there are so many things still going on into the evening here it doesn't all end with the shootout definitely not no there's plenty more to enjoy so many aspects to this festival of speed events and it really is a family event that you can all enjoy you can all find aspects that are well worth trying looking at experimenting with taking photos of people you can meet all that sort of thing well we've had alex summers who's been the quickest up the hill so far this weekend mcmurtry automotive spearling that absolute weapon that we've seen on the 1.1 mile hill climb Max Chilton did a 39-1 a little earlier on today. So we are looking at breaking records. Heidfeld is the fastest man on a Sunday with a 41-6. That is going to go, barring a breakdown or, or an accident of some kind. But uh, Dumas has the quickest on a Saturday. 39-9 is the fastest. So right now, unofficially, the fastest time up this hill is Max Chilton, 39.14 earlier on today. And I truly believe that that's going to be beaten. I think we're going to be into a 38 for the first time. Wow. Well, that's my, that's my bet. Let's wait and see. It was interesting when Max was talking that uh, he said, well, maybe I won't push so hard on the next one, but I reckon he will. He'll go for it. He's a racer. Yeah, exactly. He's done a bit of Formula One himself and raced over in the States for quite a few years, Max Chilton. But now he's going to be very focused on going up the hill as fast as possible. But here we are still just enjoying some of the images of Nigel Mansell's run. Gives us a real opportunity, though, to see it from every angle, which is something that we normally don't have time for. Television moves on at such a rate of, uh, a rate of knots, and there's so much stuff that goes on on this hill climb that we don't get an opportunity sometimes to see quite the angles that we are seeing from uh, Nigel Mansell's run up the hill in that 92 iconic car. And uh, it's interesting how many of the bike men were very, very keen to meet up with Nigel Mansell as well, and the fact that he even gave him a name check for the festival of speed here that's as far as you're going is yeah. uh, the williams crew are saying that was as you say i'm sure about keeping it off the gravel that was what it was about i think that it did look a little low when it left the start line i must say that we we had a few sparks from the back so obviously it's quite low to the ground they've got it set quite low to the ground here and that gravel is is still quite loose so i could imagine it getting beached in there and that would have been embarrassing good afternoon ladies and gentlemen Let's have a massive round of applause for the 1992 world champion, Nigel Mansell.
I think it's pretty safe to say Mansell Mania is back. Nigel, lovely to see you here back on British soil in Red 5. How does it feel? Um, I've just won the British Grand Prix. I mean, the, the fans are sensational. <laughs> I feel like I've won the race today and I just want everybody to know I'm ready for next week. I just need to get a car. <laughs> well, I mean, you used to say that fan power equal horsepower for you. You know, driving at Brands Hatch or Silverstone, it, it gave you something emotionally, didn't it? And seeing the crowd out here today, it, does, it, does it feel a bit like that? Seeing tens of thousands of fans doing the uh, Mexican wave at Silverstone in 87, that fantastic race when I caught Nelson up to pass him at the end. Uh, the fans gave me that power. We, we broke the track record 11 times in the last 15 laps. I mean, it's just awesome. And I've got to thank you all for everybody, for all the bike riders who are the most awesome people in the world riding those bikes. They're crazy and so talented from all the car drivers who are here and his grace for putting something on like this and growing it to the stature that it is today. Just a huge thank you, but to all of you out there for making it all happen for us for so many years, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. Now, Nigel, I know you've driven for great teams, Lotus, McLaren, Ferrari, but I think for so many people out here, including myself, you're a Williams driver, and seeing you back in Red 5, especially after you know, we've recently lost, of course, Sir Frank, is that an emotional experience for you? Yeah, no, of course it is. And uh, the incredible thing is, um, not to dwell on that for a second, I'll come back to it, getting in the Ferrari, and uh, I'd like to thank Ferrari for lending me the 640 to drive that. As soon as you get back in the seat and, and go up the hill here, you, it's like yesterday, it's not like 30 years ago. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. But of course, like you said quite rightly, Red 5, the Williams team, what we did in 91 and 92 was sensational. And a big thank you to all the sponsors, the team, Sir Frank, Sir Patrick, Adrian Newey, uh, Sheridan Thin, unfortunately, has passed. I mean, so many great people, uh, Peter Collins, Peter Windsor, all the mechanics, everybody, the sponsors. They're all sensational, and the team just came together. But the team came together with the public as well and the fans. It's a whole sort of mixture which just blends together beautifully. And, and we had so much fun. I mean, when we qualified at Silverstone in 92, that qualifying lap, which was almost two seconds quicker than anyone else, the fans made me did that. I got into trouble, but it's just sensational. Listen. We haven't asked you about the emotions of driving that car up the hill today. Did it, did it bring back the memories straight away? Because you have not been in that car since Adelaide 1992. This is the first time, and all these wonderful people here have been witness to that. So tell me about the emotions of that. I'm trying not to well up. <laughs> I feel like I've just won a race, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, it, I, I cannot believe. I cannot believe it's 30 years ago. And uh, I just feel so proud and privileged to stand here. And i uh, just like to thank everybody for making it happen. And finally, a word on the Festival of Speed. As you mentioned, His Grace and his team do a, a, an outstanding job um, of putting on this event. I might actually ask um, the Duke of Richmond to, to join us um, up here. And, and Nigel, can I just have a word on, on what His Grace and his team have put on here at the Festival of Speed? I mean, you've, you look like you've enjoyed yourself. Um, it's clearly been an emotional experience for you. Are we going to have you back? I hope so. I mean, I've got to say to everybody, it's been breathtaking because I drove um, Jimmy Clark's car yesterday. And all my preconceived ideas what the car would be like was blown away. It was sensational. It was incredible. I mean, they should bring those cars back. <laughs> but on behalf of everybody, you know, such a huge thank you, Your Grace, because it's just been such a magnificent weekend. You, fi you fix the weather for everybody as well. I have had the most sensational time of my life. Thank you. Nigel, thank you very much. On behalf of everybody here, I think for the memories as much as for today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one last huge round of applause for the world champion. One last thing, one last thing ladies and gentlemen.
We've, we've got three great British drivers in Formula One with George, with Lando and Lewis. Let's have a British winner next week. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, that was a wonderful interview with Nigel Mansell. Such a